the water, this is all underwater. We go under the Bosphorus. Istanbul has a nice metro system. It really does. I will say though, and I didn't want to say anything to Tia in the moment, but uh, in the last station, I saw a, con a crack in the concrete with water seeping through. Just kidding. I'm kidding. This is, it's like way too early for you to be doing this stuff to me. <laughs> okay, what are we doing today? So today we are going on a high speed train, our first, I think, in Turkey, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to the capital of Turkey, which is Ankara. A couple of videos ago, we said it was Istanbul. That was a stupid mistake. That was a dumb, dumb slip of words. Yeah. But anyways, we're going to Ankara. Mm -hmm. Very excited for it. Should be about a four-hour train ride. Mm -hmm. And uh, I personally enjoy trains, so get to see how the trains are in Turkey. They won't let us wait on the platform, so there's a separate waiting area that we have to sit in while we wait for our train to come. Really good. Holy moly. This is this is fancy. Wow. Accent lighting. Nice. Fancy marbled wallpaper. Ooh, the biggest TV we've had in a long time. Um Ooh, look at this. So fancy. Look at the sink. Put a whole baby in there. We even have kind of a view here. Look at that. You done? I'm done. So before we came to uh, Ankara, you look it up on the internet and pretty much everyone, everything we could find said that's not worth visiting. Usually I look up guides on the cities that we go, go to so I can plan our day and it was actually really hard to find a comprehensive guide of Ankara because not a lot of tourists come here. But we're here for one day and we figured we'd see as much of it as we can. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. Massive. So this is the mausoleum of... Uh, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. He's the founder of Turkey, mm -hmm. uh, modern day Turkey. Uh, I guess he was in power in the 20s and 30s, the 1920s and 30s. And he's obviously a very well respected founder. But I think this is really cool. There's this mausoleum on the top of the hill here. You can see like a bunch of Ankara from the lookout view over here. You see the it? mausoleum looks almost Egyptian. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. Also, there's just like honor guards spotted everywhere and they like don't move at all. Yeah, props Amen. to them. I mean, they're, it's like 80 degrees right now. It's not that hot, but they're just completely in full suit just standing there. That's, mm -hmm. that's a tough job. And also, if our audio sounds a little weird, uh, they took our microphone away. <laughs> I don't know why, that's been like the deciding factor most of the places. They let us take the tripod and the camera, 
but the microphone is the big no-no. Oh no, it's windy! It <laughs> so sorry about that. Not sure what this is, but it kind of looks more political than ceremonial, maybe? I don't know. That's where we came from. Up here, at this vantage point, it looks like it wasn't that far, but it was like almost three miles away. I feel like we're always making a big deal about this, but we've said this before, we come from a very small town, so cities this size just kind of, we never get used to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, where are we though? Okay, so we are on, or in, on Ankara Castle. It's 2,000 years old, and you can just like walk all around it. It's at the top of this hill and it's surrounded by a village that just comes like right up to the castle walls. And I think most of it's closed, but we're sort of in the center, the central, like maybe the, the keep or the main hold. But this is, this is really cool. And it's free. So is the mausoleum. <laughs> Both the things in Ankara today have been free. So Ankara gets some major points for that one. <laughs> I'm glad there's a la uh, railing to lean on, but that's the the old town that's just like hugging the castle. I think it's sugar candy. That looks really interesting. I thought. <laughs> well, show the, show, okay, show the camera. Okay, so this is. I think it's sh uh, sugar, and he like twirled around the stick. There was a language barrier. We asked him what it was called, and he he just kept saying Turkish. <laughs> so I don't think that's not what this is called. But I thought it'd get hard, but it's like. Really shocked. Oh, sorry. Is it good? Does it just taste like? Is it like fruit flavored or? <laughs> it kind of tastes like. Oh, is it honey? Maybe. It might be honey. Like colored honey. That's why it's so soft. I think it's sugar. Maybe someone will know. Yeah. Um, okay, you guys. So we have a very long day tomorrow. Uh, so we're going to go back and get some work done because we're not going to be able to do any of that tomorrow. But thanks for coming with us today. We appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>
<laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Subscribe! That's really cool. Thank you very much for the food. Really good. <laughs> Kawaii! <laughs>